Welcome to Avatar Technology Digest. We provide you with the latest news on technology, medical cybernetics, and artificial intelligence the best way we can. And here are the top stories of the last week. Did you know that Disney does more than shoot box office hits and sells toys to your kids? They also have a very active research department that specializes in a variety of applications that can be used throughout the Disney empire. And now another interesting innovation has come out of the research department as they have developed a method for generating those 3D printable robots without the need for time and energy consuming work at all. The concept alone is brilliant, for despite all the advantages offered by 3D printing technology, manufacturing robotics is still terribly difficult. Creating compelling robotic creatures is currently a formidable task that only experienced engineers can successfully undertake. And their solution is in software. They have developed a design tool, currently unnamed, that has automated the tedious parts of the design process without affecting options for customization of morphology proportions, gait, and even motion options. This physical feasibility requires a high degree of coordination between the motions of different body parts, something which is difficult to achieve with traditional animation approaches, let alone with digital ones. Researchers simply upload a description file that specifies the important element, an initial skeletal structure of the robot as defined through a typical hierarchy of bones connected by joints. It's a fantastic system that could dramatically decrease the barriers between ordinary hobbyists and seasoned engineers. And to illustrate it, the Disney creators have designed six robotic creatures. While it's still far too early to think about marketable versions of this tool, the Disney team is already thinking about its limitations and possibilities. Being able to identify problems with a person's body without subjecting them to invasive procedures is the fantasy of all Star Trek doctors. There is even a prize offering a fortune to anyone who can effectively recreate the tricorder technology out in the real world. Now, Stanford scientists think that they have developed a system that in time could be used to support cancerous tumors from a foot away. This all came about thanks to DARPA, which wanted a way to find improvised bombs that were buried in soil. Researchers were able to create a detector that shot microwaves at an area of ground several feet away. The waves, of course, hit the area up, which causes it to expand and contract, and dirt will do this at a different rate than, say, plastic explosives. All the team then had to do was build an ultrasonic sensor that could identify these different state changes from a similar distance. Now the same principle has been tweaked in the hope that it can be used to give people with a high risk of cancer a quick once-over cancerous tumors, you see grow additional blood vessels around themselves to draw in extra nutrition and grow even bigger. Thankfully, these blood vessels also expand and contract at a different rate to the flesh that surrounds it. Therefore, it should be pretty easy to spot a big clump of blood vessels that shouldn't be there and say with some certainty that it's a tumor. Technology is all around us, but what happened to the robots we dreamed of as kids? The ones that could be our friends and members of our family. The robots who were as smart as our smartphones, but could walk and talk and learn and engage with us in a way no smartphone ever could. We think human-like household robot Alpha 2 by Optech Robotics could finally be that robot, and with your support we can make Alpha 2 a reality. The domestic robot was designed to offer an intuitive and responsive platform that is designed to be both intelligent and useful. Because of that, the Alpha 2 is completely programmable and operates on an open-source operating system. As far as hardware goes, the device includes a number of sensory inputs such as ultrasonic sensors, touch sensors and pressure sensors. With a total of 20 servers in the device's joints, the robot is also pretty nimble. The brain of the robot is cloud-connected, meaning that it's able to use much more visual and audio processing power than if everything was implanted into the hardware of the device. Because of this connectivity, the Alpha 2 is able to perform a number of tasks, such as checking the user's calendar, monitoring the user's home, and even entertaining the family pet. Imagine playing a visual reality boxing game complete with a menacing opponent aiming a haymaker at your head. You get your gloves up in time to block the punch, but you feel no impact when it hits, breaking the otherwise immersive experience. Researchers in Germany have developed visual reality technology for an armband that lets you feel impact from virtual interactions. 
The technology consists of an armband that combines basic haptic feedback, a tap of vibration on the skin with electrical muscle stimulation to push or pull the user's limb in a way that convincingly simulates a physical impact. Impactor can also be combined with props to create convincing experiences of hitting a virtual baseball or bouncing a virtual soccer ball on one's foot, anything that involves a classic Newtonian equal and opposite reaction. Currently, the illusion is only convincing for impacts of 200 milliseconds or less, but the team is already investigating how to extend the concept to create continuous impulses that extend over time. Impactor is just a proof-of-concept designed to show that small haptic interfaces working in concert can create seamless, immersive experiences that currently require bulky and expensive technology. Thank you for watching us, subscribe and stay tuned. See you soon!